Mr. Chair, I believe this is where the problem lies. Kasi tila, pasensya na po, no? tila hindi naiintindihan nung mga nagahawak ng pondo kung para saan ang confidential funds. I, I really didn't want to ask questions. Pero kanina ko pa kasi naririnig, Mr. Chair, paulit-ulit, tila umiikot po tayo, hindi natutuldukan. Either there is an intention to deviate from what should be discussed, either that is unintentional or intentional. Um, can you define confidential funds? Mr. Chair, if I may. Mr. Kelvin Tenido. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Based on the joint circular, ma'am, um, confidential funds is to be used for the um, confidential activities such as surveillance. Um, this is available for um, civilian, um, civilian government office um, in relation to the performance of their uh, mandate, ma'am. Specific mandate, alin po doon sa mandato ng office ng Vice President ang nangangailangan ng pondo ng confidential funds? In case of OVP, it is, the, it is really the operations, the general operations of the OVP. And uh, with the... Can you put your... Can you sorry. put the microphone nearer, Paul? In case of OVP, this is for the operations of the uh, projects and activities of the OVP. The... Interpolator. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Magandang hapon po sa ating mga resource person. Um, just to clarify, Mr. Chair, I would like to pursue the line of questioning on um, the possibility that there seems to be a misunderstanding of how confidential funds are being utilized. No? Kasi sa pananaw ko po, ito po ay isang bagay na dapat matuldukan kung yung atin ba po mga empleyado at kawani sa gobyerno ay naiintindihan ang purpose ng confidential and or intel funds para naman po hindi na maulit ang ganitong mga um, situation. So, Mr. Chair, earlier, if I may be allowed to take off from uh, the line of uh, questioning of our distinguished colleague, the Honorable Franz Castro, narinig ko rin po kasi kanina nung sinabi ni Mr. Tenido, ni Sir, na they were preparing, you were involved, Sir, in the preparation of the budgets, right? Yes, yes. Can you enlighten this August body? Um, can you define confidential funds? Mr. Chair, if I may. Mr. Kelvin Tenido. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Based on the joint circular, ma'am, um, confidential funds is to be used for the um, confidential activities such as surveillance. Um, this is available for um, civilian, um, of civilian government office um, in relation to the performance of their uh, mandate, ma'am, Mr. Chair. So confidential funds um, will be used for the surveillance activities of, of civilian government agencies to fulfill their mandate. And when we talk about activities, surveillance activities in relation to confidential funds, does this refer to the regular programs of the agency concerned, or does this refer to um, uh, programs related to insurgency and other threats to national security? It's in relation, ma'am, uh, with the mandate of the office, ma'am. In relation to the mandate of the office. Yes, ma'am. And um, in this case, we're referring to the office of the vice president or deped? Office of the Vice President. So which specific mandate, alin po doon sa mandato ng Office ng Vice President ang nangangailangan ng pondo ng confidential funds? In case of OVP, it is, the, it is really the operations, the general operations of the OVP. And, uh, with the, can you, put, your, can you put the microphone nearer, Paul? In case of OVP, this is for the operations of the uh, projects and activities of the OVP the entirety of the... So how do you differentiate, Mr. Chair, yung pondo, yung pondo for the regular programs of the OVP vis-a-vis -vis the confidential funds? Um, confidential fund or confidential expenses, as they labeled it as um, in the GAA, is part of the um, overall budget of the OVP. The confidential expense or the confidential fund is not a separate item 
on top of the either good governance or socioeconomic program delivery. It is within that program, ma'am. So, Mr. Chair, distinguished colleagues, ang pagkaintindi ko ang sinasabi po ni Mr. Te Tenido, itong budget is the regular budget, and ito namang confidential fund is another budget that seems to be an augmentation of the agency budget. Yan po ang pagkaintindi niya, sir. Can you repeat, Mr. Chair? Sorry. Ang pagkaintindi ko po, Mr. Chairman, dun sa sagot ni Mr. Tenido, yung confidential funds appears to be an augmentation of the existing funds of the department concerned or the office concerned. I can't really say that it is an augmentation, but it's part of the um, budget, agency-specific budget of one office. So, Mr. Chair, I believe this is where the problem lies. Kasi tila, pasensya na po, no? tila hindi naiintindihan nung mga nagahawak ng pondo kung para saan ang confidential funds. I, I really didn't want to ask questions. Pero kanina ko pa kasi naririnig, Mr. Chair, paulit-ulit, tila umiikot po tayo, hindi natutuldukan. Either there is an intention to deviate from what should be discussed, either that is unintentional or intentional. Kasi sa pagkakaintindi ko at sa sinabi naman inamin ni Mr. Tenido, ang confidential funds ay ginagamit for surveillance activities of uh, civilian government agencies. And that is different from intel funds because it's the same thing, surveillance activities for military personnel and intel practitioners. Parang ganun po. In other words, ang confidential fund ay gagamitin mo sa surveillance activities ng opisina kaakibat sa mga programa in relation to either terrorism and other activities that pertains to threats to national security. Can you confirm this, Mr. Tenido? Yes, Mr. Chair, I confirm. So, kinukumpirma niyo po ang sinasabi ko. Ulitin ko lang, Mr. Chair, no? so that we will be on the same road path. Yes, please continue. Okay. Linawi natin. Kasi kanina tila ang mga napag-uusapan, yung confidential funds ay pondo sa Departamento ng Office of the Vice President and other civilian agencies that is dealing with specific programs and projects. Pero tila ang nakakalimutan this is in relation to activities that pertains to either insurgency and other threats to national security. Do you confirm that, sir? I, I Sorry. confirm, ma'am. I confirm, ma'am, based on the joint circular. So on the joint circular, merong purpose. So nasabi niyo rin po kanina na kayo po ang gumawa ng uh, proposal or justification if I may quote nga, um, you also mentioned, napakahaba ng proseso, ng budget process, at hindi madali ang inclusion ng confidential funds um, uh, in, a, in an agency, either the OVP, DepEd, or other government agencies. Tama po ba, sir? Ito hey, guys, comment reaction tayo dito. Issue sa confidential fund na milyong-milyong nagastos ng Office of the President. Office of the Vice President na si BP Sara Duterte. Ayun, uh, uh, tinuldukan na at comment reaction tayo dito and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Panoorin natin itong susunod na video. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Mr. Chair. Okay. When you proposed the budget of confidential funds item in the Office of the Vice President, ano po ang specific programs and activities? For fiscal year 2023, Mr. Chair, um, uh, programs, activities, and projects, or PAPs, uh, it's social economic program delivery, expected outcome, safe implementation of OVP initiatives and confidence building, and the um, um, indicators, success indicators for all the quarters of 2023. First is number of identified areas with surveillance conducted and monitored. Second, 
percentage of activities implemented without untoward security-related incidents. This is in reference to the Physical and Financial Plan for fiscal year 2023 submitted to DBM. So, Mr. Chair, dun po sa sagot nyo, sir, ano po ang specific item doon that is related to national security threat? There is no express, ma'am, uh, statement on the physical and financial plan. And um, I, uh, we merely relied on how the uh, physical and financial plan was drafted and approved. Pakiulit po nung sagot nyo, you relied... On how? On how the physical and financial plan was prepared and approved, ma'am. Is it not that this is prepared by your office as part of the budget and no. admin office? No, ma'am. It is prepared by the uh, project accountable officer based on the template attached to the joint circular. Tapos dumadaan ito sa inyo kasi ikaw ang magpropropose sa DBM. Um, kukunin ko na lang po siya, ma'am, once for submission. Okay. To DBM and once we receive, approved na po ito ng head of agency. So kukunin mo siya at isasubmit mo sa DBM, tama po ba? Yes ma'am. Pag kinuha yes, mo siya at sinubmit sa DBM, ano po, talagang parang clerical work lang, hindi mo na nire-review? Well, uh, I'll just check the amount if consistent with the... How about the description? The hindi descript po ba parte yan ng iyong trabaho? Yes ma'am, but the plan is already approved by the... Uh, head of agency. So what is your role then? Kasi salary grade, ano po kayo, sir? Yes, ma'am. Um, salary grade 24, ma'am. So pag salary grade 24, um, nasa magkano po ang now salary po, plus allowances sa ngayon po? With the latest um, salary uh, table, nasa 95 po. So, Mr. Chair, we have heard a government official receiving approximately 95,000 per month. At ang naririnig ko sa sinasabi po ni Mr. Tenido, tinatanggap niya ang papel at pinapasa sa DBM. May we remind the, our good resource person, pasensya na po, with, with position and with responsibility comes accountability. So I cannot accept the reason na tinanggap mo lang tapos pinasa mo sa DBM kasi deemed approved na siya. Because if you look at the purposes that were being mentioned, I cannot pinpoint, even in this lightest idea, the link between national security threat and the PAPs that was mentioned by the Honorable Tenido. Tila po, Mr. Chair, yung justification is not for confidential funds. It was mere performance of the duties of the Office of the Vice President. At sa pagkakaintindi ko, this runs in contrast to the intention of the specific line item. Tama po ba ako, sir? I can agree, Mr. Chair. Okay. So may I ask also for uh, Attorney Ch Sanchez. So, Ma'am, you came from COA before po kayo napunta sa Office of the Vice President. Let's pursue the, specific, the, the same line of questioning. Pag meron pong confidential fund, ang confidential fund by the Joint Circular is defined as funds, the, it's to fund surveillance activities for anti-terrorism, drugs, or other situations where there is national security threat. And this is performed by civilian agencies. Okay. Coming from the Commission on Audit, kung tanggalin po natin yung iyong uh, um, uh, position in the Office of the Vice President, when an agency requests for funds from the national coffers of our government, hindi po ba ay merong specific na paggagamitan ito? Uh, yes, Your Honor. For the regular fund, it is um, required to be very specific, Your Honor. Okay. Kapag gumamit ka ng confidential fund, magkaiba ba ito sa pinagagamitan sa regular activities ng opisina ng pinanunungkulan nyo? Your Honor, it should be different uh, from the regular activities because um, that is the reason why it has to be separate fund, Your Honor. Okay. And in this case, Your Honor, Mr. Chair, and the Honorable Resource Person, Attorney Sanchez, nagawa po ba yun o hindi? Uh, Your Honor, as to the uh, budgeting, Your Honor, 
um, based on what was submitted, it is different from the regular programs and projects of the OPP. Ano po ang difference, ma'am? Because uh, I was hearing earlier, it pertains to if, Mr. Chair, can we request Mr. Tenido to reiterate his earlier statement? My understanding earlier was that you mentioned that when you submit and requested for funding under confidential funds, it was for the purpose of the Vice President being able to accomplish her duties and mandate. Yes, ma Madam Chair, Mr. Okay. Mr. So, Chair. what specific mandate are we referring to? This is the um, operations of the OVP, ma'am. Which specific operational item? I mean, uh, which specific yes. activity? Because if we say operations of the Vice President's office, it can actually refer to all the tasks that she performs together with the President. It's, it's quite vague. Sa pananaw niyo po ba pag pinapadala niyo sa DBM yun, eh, ina-approve or hinahanap bang kayo ng specifics? Okay. Can you repeat, Mr. Chair? I'm sorry. Kapag kayo ay nagre-request ng pondo sa DBM, hinahanapan ba kayo ng specifics or details or hindi? Yes, there are instances po that the DBM um, request for additional documents, additional details. Okay. In this case, ano po ang naging justification? I mean, Mr. Chair, just for the record, I'm not saying that it's disallowed. I'm just pointing to the fact na kaya tayo nagkakagulo at nalilito lahat kasi apparently it seems that some officials in the particular office are not aware of how they should use or utilize confidential funds, nor are they aware of the difference between confidential funds and or regular funds of the agency or MOOE. So, pwede po ba tayong maliwanagan doon? During the request, ma'am, um, nag-reply lang po ang DBM with our request to submit a physical and financial plan. Um, the request was submitted on... What was, con what, what, what was contained in your submission? Uh, the one I read earlier, ma'am, the... Um, Confidence building. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, Mr. Chair, your honors, um, medyo nag nagugulat po ako kasi sa... Pasensya na po, sir. I really don't want... I don't want to mean any harm. But I think this should be corrected. Kasi you requested, let's say, 500 million confidential funds. And the purpose is confidence building. Ano po ba yun? Kasi naririnig ko po yung confidence building, Mr. Chair, kapag kakandidato ka sa uh, Miss Universe, yung mga pageant, di ba parang nagtitrain tayo para maging confident sila sa paglakad, sa pagsagot. So, if it is in relation to confidence building in the office of the Vice President, how do we link this to threats on national security? So much so, nagagastos tayo ng limang daang milyon para sa confidence building. Kaninong confidence po ang build up? Sino-sino po ang nagiging participants nito? Ano po ang naging outcome? Naging mas magaling ba yung ating mga empleyado na nag-underwent ng confidence building? Ano ang naging kakayahan nila ikumpara nung kapanahunan na wala pang pondong ganito? Uh, Mr. Chair, um, for the, uh, for the Time, at the time of the request, um, the, the indicators reflected in the physical and financial plan are the number of identified areas with surveillance conducted and monitored. And then the second one is the percent of activities implemented without untoward security-related incidents, ma'am. This is all in relation to the uh, OVP's uh, activities um, for all and, and in all satellite offices, ma'am. Kaya nga, Mr. Chair, if I may, Mr. Chair, bumalik po tayo, sir, doon sa para saan po ba ang confidential funds. Ang confidential funds ay para sa mga activities kung saan binabantayan natin ang kapakanan ng taong bayan against national security threats, kagaya ng terorismo, droga, outbreaks, pandemics. Tama po ba, sir? I agree, Mr. Chair. Okay. And in this case, ang sabi ngunya niya is confidence building in targeted areas with no untoward incidents. Pasensya na po, sir, kasi masyado pong vague yes, ang sagot nyo. And this vagueness can be interpreted, Mr. Chair, 
in two possibilities. One is that you are avoiding answering the question or two, possibly talagang may misunderstanding on how confidential funds should be utilized. And that is why we are in this mess now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So alin po doon ang sinasabi niyong, you, you, you mentioned about no untoward, no untoward events or incidents. Ano po ang untoward incidents ang hinahanap natin sa satellite offices na hindi dapat mangyari, na na-curtail or na-prevent ng confidential funds? I cannot uh, give a definite statement, ma'am, because I just relied with the physical and financial plan, and I cannot interpret it in, a, in such a way na... But Mr. Chair, Your Honor, kayo po ang nagsasabit sa DBM. Kung ako po ang official na magsasabit sa DBM, hindi po ba pagsabit ko noon ay nakasaad doon ang mga activities na gagawin at ano ang objective? Di ba para anong tawag doon? PAP? Yeah. yeah. Well, what does PAP stands for, Mr. Chair? Uh, programs, Activities, and Projects. So, Programs, Activities, and Projects. Kunyari, yung Programs, Activities, and Projects mo dun is counter-insurgency, anti-drug abuse, prevention of outbreaks, epidemics, and pandemics. Tapos yung Pondo, 500 billion. Di ba meron yung specific outcomes? So, ang specific outcomes mo, sasabihin mong, oh, walang mga terroristic activities. Oh, minimize, minimize yung drug use from this percentage to this percentage. O oh, merong nagkasakit pero naagapan, hindi nagka-outbreak. Tama po ba, Mr. Chair, Your Honors? Tama, Mr. Chair. So ang tinatanong ko, in the case of the office of the Vice President, and again, this should be required in all other offices, Mr. Chair, in aid of legislation, alin po doon sa sinasabi nyo, ang ganitong pangyayari because this is 500 million Mr. Chair yes Mr. Chair I cannot give a I cannot pinpoint which of which ang um, involve ang confidential activities but based on the physical and financial plan it is for the safe implementation of OVP initiatives and um, confidence building so I would surmise that this uh, applies to all the activities or the initiatives of the office of the vice president Mr. Chair so, Mr. Chair, may we request Mr. Tenedo kindly define confidence building? In my personal or on how it was...